The cabinet is calling for the disbandment of the ultra-leftist Unified Progressive Party accused of sedition. The final decision will be made by the Constitutional Court in the next six months. Our Park ji tells us more. This is the first time the government has moved to disband an existing political party. Cabinet ministers approved a motion to disband the Unified Progressive Party on Tuesday morning. The motion was proposed by the Justice Ministry. With the motion passing the cabinet, the Justice Ministry plans to take the case to the Constitutional Court. The court has the final say about whether political parties in Korea can be disbanded. It will decide whether the party's political goals and activities are in line with the democratic order as laid out in the Constitution. To pass, the motion must win the approval of six of the court's nine judges. If the motion goes through, the party's assets will be transferred to the government and the party will be banned from launching a new party in its place. The Justice Ministry has been reviewing the motion for two months after lawmaker Lee seok and other three members from the minor left-leaning opposition party were arrested on charges of plotting to topple the government and blow up major facilities such as communication centers and oil storage tanks in the event of a war with North Korea. The plan was devised in conjunction with members of a secret organization called the Revolutionary Organization. The Unified Progressive Party has denounced the motion's passage as a revival of the nation's dark dictatorial past, where ruling Senate Party said it welcomed the move, characterizing it as an unavoidable decision needed to protect the national order. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.